Uh, hey everyone, this is kind of a different video that I wanted to do. Um, so quick thing about this, this there's a channel that I follow, Dickie Dine Show, that used to do a series of videos called Story Gaming. And I'm, I kind of wanted to try that today, because I have kind of a spooky story that happened to me a, a while back. Not even really a story, it was actually something that really happened. Um, this probably happened back when I was like... 16 maybe 17 18 one of those probably 17 to be safest uh i was very depressed uh like horribly depressed still am but you know i've gotten better i did not have a normal sleep schedule like i don't have a normal sleep schedule now but and uh to give context of who this is that i'm talking to i had a friend who went through girlfriends like tissue paper like every other week or something he'd have another fucking girlfriend um, and you, I didn't usually talk to them that much just because I didn't really talk to anyone, but one person I talked to, uh, I don't even remember her name, but I remember we talked a little bit and we friended each other on Skype and stuff, uh, cut to like a week later, maybe. And she randomly calls me up on Skype. Now, again, remember, I haven't, uh, I haven't talked to her much. I, you know, she's just mostly my friend's girlfriend. Uh, she calls me up, like, like, I, at first I, I, th I knew something was wrong, because she calls me and she's shaky breath, and not just that, the first thing I hear when she calls me is this bell ringing. Is this just, this, this random bell ringing that I can hear, and it's, it's close, it sounds decently close, like it's, it's loud enough that it sounds like it's close to her. And, you know, she calls me, like, shaken up, like, and I'm wondering, like, what the fuck? And she's like, I haven't been able to reach every anyone else. Everyone's asleep. And I'm like, what's wrong? And she tells me that there's this bell ringing in her room. And she has no idea what's doing it. She has no idea where it's coming from. She can just hear this bell. And I could hear it too. It was loud enough that it must have been in her room or maybe it was like just outside or something. She told me that she never really got off the bed. She didn't really want to explore. She was too scared. And so, you know, I just, she calls me to just like talk to her. She just wanted to talk, you know, have human interaction while this fucking sound entity is happening in her room and who, who can fucking blame her like if I started randomly hearing something I'd want someone there too so we're just talking and like she tells me that this has been going on for like a week and I'm just like and I asked her like have you looked for anything have you like tried anything and it's like yeah she can never find what it is and I'm just huh and it's, again, like, this bell sound is non-stop, I can, it's very close. And I genuinely was kind of worried. I asked if, I, you know, I ended up telling her, you know, try and, try and, like, go up, go to your window. Like, she said it was kind of near a window. So I told her, you know, go, go to your window, maybe it's someone outside, maybe someone's doing something outside, and she finally gets the courage to go and check. And there's nothing outside. There's absolutely nothing outside. Like, there's even like a street light next to where she's looking and she just can't see anything. So I, I have no idea what the fuck's happening because there's no one outside doing this, but it sounds like it's in her room. So I just like, how the fuck do you explain this? So it's like, there's nothing else I could do except just talk to her, give her company. And she, at one point she did actually start crying and I could, I could hear it. She was fucking terrified, dude. It so also sounded like she hadn't slept in a while. She did say that this was happening for a week, so... I guess she hadn't slept for a week. That's what I connected. It just confuses me to this day, like, what it was. There was a point eventually where the bell just kind of stops ringing. I think it was, like... 4 or 5 a.m. I, for, I forgot to mention, she called me for at, at around 2.30 a.m., probably 2.33 a.m. And then suddenly it just kind of stops. Like, two, two and a half hours later, probably. It just kind of fucking stops. Uh, I asked her, is, like that, is that normal? Does it usually just stop randomly? It's like, yeah, that, that normally happens. It just will stop randomly. It'll cut off. 
And, you know, so I'm trying to, like, run it through my head, like, what the fuck could this be? Like, what's... I don't know. The only, other, the only explanation I could think of is that maybe there's someone in her walls. But that... How, how fucking likely is that? That there's someone in, in her wall. Uh, but anyway, after the bell stopped ringing, we talked for maybe an hour longer. Um, she was still pretty shaken up, which, you know, hearing a fucking bell out of nowhere in your room, I'm sure that would scare anyone. But that's just, it's just something that's stuck with me since then. Like, it's, I've, I've never been able to explain it. I've never experienced something like it again. It, it was, it, it was weird, man. It was very, very weird. It, it definitely had me shaken up for a few nights, too. I didn't really hear for her, from her much after that. Uh, and I think, like, two days later, he broke up with her. So, I don't know. Maybe the, I don't know if the bell had anything to do with it. I never really heard from her after that. I'm assuming he, him breaking up with her probably fucking injured her pretty bad, so... But I have no explanation for what the bell was, for what was happening, for what even the sound was. Because again, I could hear it plain as day over the call. Like it was, it was not, it, it wasn't her imagination. I can tell you that much. It's still something that just has me not really jumpy, but it's, it's something I think about a lot in my life. But anyway, uh, that's about it. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Do you want more story gaming? I have a few other stories, but what, more importantly, what do you guys think? Leave down in the comments. Do you think we were both crazy? Do you think we were both tired? Or do you think perhaps there was actually something in her room? I still don't know. I want to say that we were both just very tired, but her saying it's been happening for a week and me clearly hearing it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I want to say maybe it was actually an actual presence, but at the same time, I want to chalk it up to tired. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this story gaming. Let me know if you want more, and I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.